The Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600M is the dive watch of dive watches. It exceeds the features and the capabilities of the Seamaster Diver 300M in every conceivable way. But what's perhaps most surprising is that it raises the bar in such a big way without significantly raising the cost of ownership. Yes, the Planet Ocean Diver is about $1,000 more than the standard Seamaster, but at a price of just $6,550, it's not a significant increase in cost. And what's more, Relative to the competition, most notably the Rolex Sea Dweller, which, don't get me wrong, is a great watch in its own right, this Omega Planet Ocean offers probably as much in terms of quality and is actually half the price. So the question is, why would you spend significantly more on another watch when this Seamaster Planet Ocean is arguably both one of the best quality and highest value divers on the market? Well, I'm not sure you should. Hey everybody, this is Guy with the Just Blue Fish YouTube channel, and let me say thanks for joining me for this dive into the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. And, of course, thanks to my channel sponsor and Omega Authorized Dealer, Exquisite Timepieces, for loaning me this watch for the video. Content like this just wouldn't be possible without them. So what are the basic features and specifications on this watch? Well, for starters, it's a 43.5 millimeter in diameter diver with a thickness just over 16 millimeters. It is approximately 49 millimeters from lug to lug and wears a bracelet between the lugs at 21 millimeters. And with that said, this is probably the only quote unquote potential negative about the watch, and that's the size. It's fairly big. It's chunky, and let's be honest, this might be too much watch for some people. But if you like a larger watch or have a larger wrist and can support a hefty watch, what might be a potential negative for some people is likely a non-issue for you. For myself and my six and a half inch wrist, this watch is just a bit too large, but there is good news. That is that there is a smaller sized Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, which is available and I hope to do a video on it at some point in the near future, because I think that between the two sizes, there's going to be an option for just about everyone. As far as the remaining features, this watch has, as the name suggests, 600 meters of water resistance, along with that helium escape valve meaning that it's a watch capable of the most demanding underwater work, that being saturation diving. Of course, next to no one is going to use this feature, and having the extra crown on the side of the watch case is a divisive addition to the watch in terms of design, but it is a hallmark of the Seamaster line of watches. And if you don't like it, I'd like to suggest that you maybe give it a chance. It might grow on you. I mean, there was a time when I thought that it was more of a design eyesore than a value-added feature. But over time, I have come to appreciate it and its unique character and what it adds to the watch. The watch also has an anti-reflective domed sapphire crystal, a ceramic unidirectional elapsed time bezel, screw-down crown, transparent display case back, date complication, and of course the excellent Omega Master Chronometer Caliber 8900 automatic movement. To quickly touch on that 8900 series movement, it is a Metos certified chronometer with a 60-hour power reserve. It is of course highly anti-magnetic, up to 15,000 gauss in fact, and it has a silicon balance spring run by a pair of mainspring barrels mounted in series. It is highly accurate, and it's subjected to a series of eight rigorous tests to ensure its timekeeping precision, shock resistance, and its overall durability and reliability. The stainless steel watch case and the bracelet finishing is, obviously, it's excellent, as you would expect from an Omega brand watch, with the case offering a combination of brushed and polished surfaces, and the bracelet being in a matching brushed finish. Now the clasp offers a great toolless micro adjustment system so that you can easily size the fit in a small increment without having to break out tools like screwdrivers or spring bar pushers. And honestly, I think every watch should include a clasp like this, at least a clasp with a feature like this. Now the bezel action, it's superb as well. And I gotta say that it competes with the bezel of my Rolex Submariner in terms of overall quality and feel. It really is pretty much second to none. Now the watch does have one interesting feature that I have sort of a love-hate relationship with, and that's how the movement works. What I mean by that is that of course you can hack the movement, stopping the act of running seconds to set the time, but there's no intermediate position on the crown to quick set the date. Instead, you can use a jump hour feature, changing the position of the hour hand without stopping the watch from running. 
Now, this is super convenient if you travel and you want to change the time zone of the watch without having to reset the time. But it's also a big pain if you need to advance the date, since you need to advance the hour hand up to as many as 24 times in order to roll over the date to the next day. This, of course, means that if you haven't worn the watch in a while, that you could be spinning the crown to set the date for a little bit longer than you would if you had a quick set date function. Now, it is a really cool feature for some use cases, and it's a common feature on GMT watches. But for a diver, at least for me, I'd prefer the quick set date if I had the option. The dial in the handset on this one is exceptional. The finishing on the hands and the applied markers on the dial is really well executed. And as far as design goes, I have to say I'm a big fan of the 6912 motif on the dial and of course the broad arrow minutes hand. It's classic Omega design language and I think it looks top notch. Also, the hints of orange on the dial and of course the tip of the seconds hand is another little detail that I really like. I think it's a nice touch that without it, you might not even notice that it's gone, but it gives the design a little bit something extra without getting too crazy. Of course, the dial and the hands, they also have loom, which you would expect, but this is really, really good loom. It's in a two-tone coloration with the minutes hand and the loom pip on the bezel being in green and the rest of the markers being blue. It's another nice little touch that makes the watch look a little bit cooler, but it also improves the functionality by making the low light legibility just that much better. Now I did mention that one potential negative earlier, that being the size. And yeah, on my wrist, I think it looks just a bit too big. It's a little bit too much watch for me, but it's not comically oversized or anything. But I do have to say that it does have more wrist presence than I generally prefer. I think I'm gonna go with the smaller 39.5 millimeter Planet Ocean if I'm buying one. Well, there you have it. One of the highest quality, highest value, serious dive watches on the market. It's kind of amazing what Omega can offer for the money. Again, most especially when you compare it to the other competitive products on the market. I'm not going to go so far as to say that this is better than that. I'm not going to point fingers or anything, but I do think that for the money, you really can't beat this watch. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean with me. And of course, thanks to Exquisite Timepieces for loaning me the watch and sponsoring my channel. If you're interested in buying this one, stick around for a quick word about my sponsor. Give them a call if you'd like to purchase one. They're a great group of people over there, and I really can't recommend them enough. This video is presented in partnership with Exquisite Timepieces, located in Naples, Florida. Exquisite is an authorized dealer of dozens of watch brands, including Seiko and Grand Seiko, Omega, Oris, Blanc Pan, Breguet, and many more. Exquisite also has an amazing selection of pre-owned watches with new inventory coming in daily. So if you're looking for your next watch, check their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, or call their store at 239-227-2932, and let them know that you heard about them from Guy and the Just Blue Fish channel. I can't recommend them enough.